Are you ready for 10 minutes of motivation this morning? I hope you are because I'm coming at you from not just one but two fly lady zones. 10 minutes of decluttering and some housekeeping uh, tips and guidance. So let's not hang around, let's dive in. Diana Demmerich here, ra, ra, ra. 10 minutes of motivation for you this morning. It's the beginning of the week. And as I said, we're in two, two different fly lady zones this week. Do not, do not panic. It's all gonna be okay. If you're doing the fly lady system along with me, we usually do uh, a weekly upkeep clean at the start of the week. And you'll see that most of those tasks you will be working in the living room, Fly Lady Zone 5 or Fly Lady Zone 1, the hall, the entryway to the house. So, so don't worry that we're in two zones this week. And I'm all ready to declutter in here, the, the dining room. Got my boxes ready, probably want to have one for giveaway, put away items and any rubbish or recycling that we might find. You've heard me saying it again, again, again. And my plan is... I've decluttered so much down in the basement now that all uh, I, I wanted to bring up the last of the uh, things like glasses and I want to get those into the sideboard that we have over there. So, so that means I got to clear out something from the sideboard so that these can fit in. So let's see what we can find. Are you sitting comfortably? I'm sitting on a cushion on the floor. Anyway, if you're sitting comfortably, then, then let's begin. And I'm pretty sure I've got a, an idea of a couple of things that I, I can definitely go. Okay, these ones. Uh, uh, I've got three, three of these. And I, I did used to use them for like a fruit bowl, but now that it's just me and hubby, I've got a, another bowl that I use. Um, and I think all three of those can go. Go me, because the idea is that hubby and I, after, oh, I don't know, maybe three to five to seven years, we're going to move into an apartment in town. Now those are going straight in the giveaway box. Somebody else will enjoy those. Okay, and I've got a tea set, a co actually a coffee set here. And where, do I still, I'm not even sure... No, I don't think I have the coffee jug. And I bought these, I think they were Polish uh, china. The very first job that I had in Edinburgh, I worked in 4th Street, if anybody knows Edinburgh. I worked at um, George Harrison and Company. They were woolen merchants. And next door, there, there was a, a company started up and they were selling china. And I remember buying these and thinking, oh, when I get my own flat, that will be fun. But actually, I never, I never use them. And I've got our kind of fancy wedding china cups. You know, the ones from Villa and Bach. They know they're no longer available, the Madeleine from Luxembourg. Uh, so those can go. And what I will do is I'll ask um, the kids, because they're they're very good uh, cooks. And they quite often entertain, and my son often does that one, you know, like the chocolate pots that are very easy to make, and you serve them in little cups and, and uh, for coffee and things. So I'll check, I'll check with the kids. And if, I, if I'm looking, I mean, I know I'm stripy this morning, but if I'm looking more than stripy, it's because I've got the blinds down and you can see, you can see the stripes. Anyway, so all these are going. As I say, I'll check with the kids. Ooh, already got a lot of space. There's also, oh, a milk jug. And the milk jug can go because, I mean, how many milk jugs does a 56-year-old woman need? I've got the um, shiny one. This one actually is quite nice. I'll keep that one. Plus, I've got the one from our, from our wedding china. So those two can stay. And this one can go. Let's have the set. And in here, the rest of it is kind of bottles uh, of booze. This is some that I brought back from Tallinn. I was there swimming at the World uh, Championships of uh, Winter Swimming. And it's actually quite a nice rum. Could use it in cooking. And actually, I've already got space for the champagne glasses. So I'm just going to pop those right in. Ooh, my, my declutter 
uh, the, the end of the gin at the weekend, make a little cocktail. This is uh, Edinburgh gin. Bought that last time I was home, or the time before, yeah, Edinburgh. Uh, this is uh, elderflower liqueur, and this is raspberry liqueur. And sometimes I take it along if we're doing like a moonlight swim uh, with my Copenhagen Blue Tits Chill Swimmers group, then we have a little dram afterwards. We don't normally have a dram, but in the evening ones, we sometimes have a little dram. Okay, and actually, I've already done that, but let me take a wee look in the next one, see if there's more that I can let go of. And remember, you just work wherever you need to work. We'll be in the kitchen next week, but maybe you need to work in the bathroom or the garden shed. Let me just put change around here because there's not much space. I hope, you, hope you're not claustrophobic. Okay, I've got a couple of these which I did used to use for like serving bread in the morning. Cakes of, but honestly, I can't remember the last time I've used it. So this one can go... And I think it's also for kind of proving bread or something. Could that be right? The smaller one. Mm. Actually, uh, th this, this one can go. So that can go straight in the box of donations. And the crystal bowls, these are from when we got married. We had a whole lot of them. Actually, the kids have taken one each. But I, I do use these if I'm making like chocolate mousse or fancy salad. So those, those get to stay. A silver stand needs cleaned. It was from our wedding. Actually, I might polish that up. That, that, one, that one can stay. And this little one for sweets. No, I don't like it. It's, um, and, and it's got no, there's no kind of sentimental value. I think I, I bought it in Denmark uh, many years ago, but somebody might like that. Maybe Vibeka or Helena. Okay, into my box. This one I do use uh, at, at Christmas, another thing that's quite nice with clementines in it. I'll, I'll keep this one. Coffee pot, it's called Bernadotte. It's a, a, Danish, a Danish one. Right, what we got lurking? <laughs> Who's lurking? Lurking in the back. Okay, this we got as a wedding gift. No, that one can, that one can go. And it's actually, I always think it might kind of tip over. So pink, pink glass, that one can go. And the blue, this, this actually belonged to Hubby. He had this before we, uh, before we started going out. Actually, I do like the blue. And you know that in the kitchen, I have blue and white things. So the blue, this one can stay. And this bowl, th this stays. Th this is a gift. This was, was a gift from my old boss, Sir David. Can you see? It says by a, a, an artist and we've got several other things, jugs that we've got in the, um, in the living room. So this one, this one gets to say, actually I might put my fruit in it this week. If you want to know who the, the artist is, it's uh, Willie Carter from, from Wick. We've got two of these pots. See, it's nice to declutter because then you find things that you haven't used for a while. Uh, and this was also a, a wedding gift from uh, an Irish friend of ours. And it does have the, the name of the Irish um, person who made it, Liam O'Neill, could that be, in um, Beechwood? Yeah, so, so that one gets to stay as well. I like that one. And the next section down here, I'll leave that for another time. And a couple more items actually from the living room. I was uh, washing the, the, the covers of some of the, the cushions last week and I thought, you know what, once I'd washed them, I thought these ones can be passed on. They actually came from a swap party. They are nice, but I, I've got enough. And uh, I've had my, my fun with these ones. So those are going into the box of donations. And I'm going to be taking a really good look at the whole cupboard this week because we are finally, finally above freezing temperatures. And I'm going to take the, uh, our, our winter coats, which we're so fed up of wearing again in it since September and it's now April. So those are going to wash today. Hubby's emptied all the pockets uh, of this one. This is his and my one. <gasps> So looking forward to getting those washed. I've actually got a load of washing on right now. And guess what? Can hang up outside. Woo! And a couple of things from our weekend cabin in Sweden. We were there the weekend. Oh, it was so nice. I always call it like life in the slow lane. A scarf uh, that I'm not going to use again. It's a nice color. 
type one, uh, but it, it's all kind of floppy. That's not me. Do you know what that says? That's Danish for guester, which means guests. And this came from a swap party many, many years ago. And we had them in Sweden, but uh, we, we have like warm socks and things for, for people to wear at the summer cabin. I thought it might be nice to pass it on to somebody else. So it's, it's all different uh, slippers because, you know, in uh, Denmark and in Sweden, you don't wear shoes inside. You wear house shoes or slippers or woolly, warm woolly socks. So this one can go to the next swap party. Woo! And before you ask, at our swap parties, anything that is not taken by us is passed on to charity, women's shelter, men's shelter, the local school or the book exchange, because uh, I, I always get a question about that. And I shall give you a little visual look of what I've decluttered today. I'm not going to attempt to, to uh, pick it up because I'll probably smash everything. Hope I gave you some motivation, inspiration to get up off your bahookies and get moving. Let me know what you can declutter today or which area you are working in for your cleaning if you're not decluttering along with us. As usual, I hope I've inspired you. You can give me a wee pat on the back in, in exchange for a rah 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 with my pom poms. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers, so like, subscribe, share the video in if you're in a decluttering group, a hygge housekeeping group. That is always much appreciated. So all I've got left to say is live long and prosper. May the decluttering and cleaning in Fly Lady Zones 5 and 1 and 10 minute motivation be with you. And I'll see you on Friday with the rap, rap, rap. Okay, bye for now.